Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be doing the acoustic version for Stitches by Shawn Mendes and Haley Steinfeld, right after this. Hi, my name is Andre, and in this guitar tutorial, like I mentioned in the intro, we'll be doing Stitches by Shawn Mendes and Haley Steinfeld. It's an acoustic version, and I have to be honest, I didn't know Shawn Mendes up until like a month ago, but um, I was happily surprised. I had the, uh, the tutorial requests, checked it out. I like the song, so um, this is going to be a, a really, really nice tutorial. There isn't a lot of stuff to know about this song. It's just a couple of easy chords, quite easy chords. There's some finger picking, there's some strumming. And um, I guess we'll just dig in and uh, see what happens. If you're having trouble with figuring certain things out on the guitar, do check out either one-on-one -on -one guitar lessons or video coaching. Um, they're a great resource to uh, get you to that next level. Just go to yourguitarworkshop.com slash store um, you can check for more info and um, hopefully I'll see you there. All right, so without further ado, here's Stitches by Shawn Mendes and Haley Steinfeld. Alright, so let's start with the intro first, of course. Um, the intro is played using a couple of simple, simplified chords. The first one is A minor 7, the next one is a G5, then a C, and then F sus2. Now the F sus2 might be a little bit tricky because you have the thumb on the bass and your index finger on the B string. Um, you could play it like this with your middle finger in first position on the B string and your index finger on uh, first position of the E string. Whichever you prefer. Right now, Throughout the intro and verse, there is a picking pattern that's played, and it goes like this. And the only thing that changes when you switch to another chord is which bass note that you play. So on the A minor 7 chord, you start with the bass on the A string. When you play the G chord or the F sus2, you have the bass note on the E string. All right, so the picking pattern is as follows. Start with A, G, A, B, and that is with thumb, index, thumb, middle finger. So like this, three, four, after that you play a string, G string, A string, G string. And you do that with thumb, index finger, thumb, index finger. And that's already the first bar. So that first bar goes like this. Three, four. All right, now what is good to know is that Throughout that intro and verse, the E string, well, actually, the E string isn't even played, but should be played with the ring finger. The B string should be played with the middle finger. The G string should be played with your index finger. And the basses should be played with your thumb. All right, so now we move on to that G5. And there you have that same picking pattern, only now the bass is played on the sixth string or E string. Three, four. Thank you. 
that you go to the C in the next bar. They're the same picking pattern as in the first bar. Three, four. And then in the last bar, you have F sus2, same picking pattern as the G5. Three, four. So let's try to play bars numbers one through four together. One, two, three, four. Now you repeat that a number of times uh, because this is used for both the intro and the verse. And uh, the verse starts, of course, when they start singing and that's with the lyrics I thought that I've been heard before. And the first change comes in the pre-chorus and the pre-chorus starts when they sing, got a feeling that I'm going under. So let me play it for you first. Three, four. So that pre-chorus has the same chords, it has the same picking patterns, but it's just in a different order. All right, so it starts off with F sus2, and you have the same picking pattern, so like this, three, four. Then you switch to G5. Then A minor seven. They play that twice. Then you go back to that F sus2, G5, and then you go to a full A minor 7 chord, and then you just play it as an arpeggio. And what I do is I just push my thumb over the strings all the way down, like this. Make sure that if you are interested in more tutorials from yourguitarworkshop.com to uh, go to my channel, subscribe, and then when you subscribe, you notice this little gear icon, click it, and then check the box that says get updates. This way, you'll make sure that whenever a new tutorial drops, you'll know about it. A couple of things you need to know about this guitar lesson. One is that uh, this is the intro, of course, so uh, the next lessons will be posted on yourguitarworkshop.com only. So if you want a full tutorial, then please visit the link that it will paste below. If you want to have free access to tablatures, simply go to yourguitarworkshop.com, log in, and you have all the uh, access to all the tabs that you need. Or if you aren't a free member yet, then just simply sign up and you're ready to go. Mm -hmm.